Hi, Libra. Getting ready to do your reading. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. All right. You have the Seven of Coins looking at the past. Probably because you're getting an offer from someone that may have broken your heart. Could be an Aries. Wow. Well, yeah, this makes sense. Like, why would you even bother? Okay, your whole reading is right there. Someone's coming back, giving you an offer. You're looking at the past. You're saying, you know, you broke my heart. This person may be doing it again with the Seven of Swords here, or they cheated on you. Very stubborn energy for them to come in. If they're not specifically an Aries, I mean, you might consider this person an emperor. But if they're coming up as an emperor, that's someone who's very stubborn and hasn't changed. Okay, just FYI. King of Cups would make me think, well, next to Seven of Swords, nothing's good. But um, Eight of Cups walking away and Ace of Cups new love. Okay, so it's showing me you're going to say no to someone coming back around if they haven't already. So expect someone to come back in who, ha who broke your heart. They must not even know, or they don't accept or know how much they hurt you with this energy. We got to clarify this. I got to see what's on this person's mind. Now you may be secretly walking away. I don't think so, but what is the seven of coins, please? Nine of cups, a wish fulfilled. Okay. What is the four of cups? So maybe you wanted to hear from this person for some of you. Nine of wands though with the, okay. So some of you, this may not even be associated with this person. You may just be looking over the past. Um, something may be paying off for you with the Nine of Cups as clarifying the Seven of Coins, something you've been working on. So that's actually good. So maybe some of you might want to see this person so now you can turn them down or this is a different uh, thing you're looking at altogether with the Seven of Coins. But this shows me clearly when you get this offer, this conversation from this person, they start you know, text, texting you or contacting you, you're going to be a little like irritated. Like, why are you, why are you bothering me now? What is the three of swords? What is the three of swords? Oh yeah. What a shock. Okay. So Aries, Leo, Leo, Sagittarius, possibly, you know, obviously possibly a third party for a lot of you. Okay. What is this emperor thinking though? What is this emperor thinking? He wants a second chance very clearly. So what is the seven of swords? What is the seven of swords though? Why, are, why is this showing up next to him? Hang on, Libra. There it is. Okay, so you're wondering what's in the cup. Whenever seven of cups, it's like, what is in this cup? What is this person offering me in the cup? Well, it looks like deceit, lies. It's not good. Eight of cups. Obviously, you're going to walk away. We got to get the ace of cups. I want to see what's coming at that ace of cups. Three of coin, you're shining, you have other people around you, you have other interests, that can mean so many things. I mean, it mean, could mean third party, but I don't think so, because you're walking away to something better. Other people uh, may be appreciating your work or you personally. So what is Ace of Cups for Libra? Ten of Swords. Okay, so again, ending this thing, Ten of Swords, it's over and done, so you can have new love. So it's interesting that this is showing up. It's very clear. Very basic reading, right? Someone's coming back around. You don't like them. Um, I don't know if this is karma. This is something karmic that this person has to deal with, take care of. Um, maybe they got dumped by this queen of wands, so now they're coming back to you. And for some of you, you know, it's justice. You like that justice. You, you can handle it any way you want. You can say whatever you want. So depending on how you feel that day, um, you could be nice, you could be mean. But it does feel like it's like this was kind of karmic, meant to be. They're coming back around, wanting a second chance. What, what with judgment? Or maybe even a third. Who knows? Judgment. Okay, this person is, uh, actually has hope that you're going to give them a second chance. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? And I'm going to clarify the Nine of Cups because that's a wish fulfilled. So again, some of you may be happy they're showing up so that you can turn them down. So you get that justice. What is the Seven of Cups, please? Seven of Wands, pushing them away. Walk, or they could have walked their own path. All these seven, 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 seven. Hmm. What is the Nine of Cups? What is the Nine of Cups? So it could be the 7th of May. I'm sorry, April. What is Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups, please. Okay, yeah, I was getting off this card banquet when I was shuffling uh, down here somewhere. So some of you, this could be nothing related to this person. You, if this resonates, some of you are going to get a message with the Page of Wands about being given an award, a job, something good. 
regarding what you do or work. Something a bit hard working, so be ready for that. So you're kind of like in this happy bubble right there, and then you hear this person coming back around. Um, one more card for the Queen of Wands. Let's just clarify her. Justice, see? That's what I said, and there's some justice being served here. So she may have broken the Emperor's heart. That's why they're coming back to you. Three of coin, please. Two of swords deciding about something. Okay. Could be something to do with your wondering. Is there someone else involved, a third party? There could be someone else they're talking to. Three of coins is my talking to someone else card. Yeah, there's a queen of coin under here also right now. So there may be another person involved behind the scenes, you guys, just an FYI, okay? This is going to create, obviously, drama, fighting. Yeah, it's not worth it. What is a ten of swords? And I'm going to pull a romance card for you guys. Ten of swords. Yeah, ten of wands, ten of swords, tower. This is so clear. You guys have such a clear reading. Okay, so let's do a couple romance cards. I thought this might give you a heads up if someone new is coming in. Okay. Children, that's been coming up a lot. Your love life is being affected by children. Now, this card can also mean um, someone is acting like a child. So, wedding. Okay, this is, oh, oh, so some of you are married to this person with children. So maybe if you're wondering which person's coming back, it's the one you're married to and you have kids with. <laughs> so also some of you, Ace of Cups can mean some of you will be getting married or in, you know, committed relationships and having kids. So if some of you are disappointed right now viewing this or hoping or any confirmation, um, this is a yes, you're going to have that. Also release your ex is under the deck. Just now I just noticed that. So... Libra, I'm going to leave it there. You guys have a really good week and take care.